guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a book haul for you. It's not, it's not that bad. It's not that bad of a book haul. Um, I'm, I'm actually, when I started to like pile up the new books, I was like, wow, this is it? So it's unlike me, but it's good because I'm not a fast reader and I buy more books than I can read. The TBR, like if I had a cart, I need like four carts of books that I haven't read yet, but you know. Anyways, um, if you haven't already and you'd like to be, make sure you subscribe if you like what you see after this. Um, I do all sorts of videos. I do vlogging. I do unboxings. I like doing book hauls because I like sharing the books that I've gotten. Um, I do upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, but you're going to want to put your blah, 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 blah. you're going to want to push your post notifications um, because sometimes I upload on weird days if I feel like I have a bunch of footage. You know how that is. I think YouTube creators were a we're, we're a strange breed. We tell you we have a schedule, and then the schedule just goes to crap, and nothing works out. Anyways, uh, let's get into the book haul. I, like I said, I don't have too many, but um, there, there's some fun books that I can't wait to get into. So the first one is the book that I got in my Unplugged book box. The last one, if you haven't seen it, I will leave it up in the cards. It might be here, might be here, and never remember. This is Every Moment After by Joseph Moldover. Um, this is a YA contemporary. It sounds like a very hard-hitting YA contemporary about a school shooting, um, these three friends, and kind of their different perspectives of what happened that day um, and their regrets and growing up with this in their their history. So it sounds like it's going to be very sad. Um, I'm excited to read it, but I don't do well with very, very sad emotional books. I am usually like a crying sappy mess, which is the point of these books. <laughs> but this one sounds like is this is going to be really tough to read um, emotionally. So I just need to make sure that I'm like in check before, before I read this. Um, so that's, that's cool. Got that in my Unplugged book box. Next book I got, I'm really, really, really excited about this. I heard Chelsea Palmer talk about it. She's one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, and she was saying that any books that have like a circus theme in it, she's down for. And this is one of the ones that she mentioned. This is Miraculum by Steph post. Uh, I don't think I've ever had any of her books. I don't think so. It says author of Lightwood, which I've never heard of. Um, so I'm just going to read you quickly on the inside because I'm not very good at giving synopsises because I don't really like to be spoiled that much. So it says the year is 1922. The carnival is Pontiller's Spectacular Starlight Miraculum staked out on the Texas-Louisiana border. So we're going to have that like old like southern kind of atmosphere which is super cool. One blazing summer night a mysterious stranger steps onto the midway, lights a cigarette and forever changes the world around him. So uh, tattooed snake charmer Ruby. So we're following uh, the snake charmer covered in tattoos, which is awesome because that's how I'd like to be, is covered in tattoos, um, has traveled with her father's carnival for most of her life, and jaded though she is, can't help but be brought, drawn to the tall man in the immaculate black suit who conveniently joins the circus, or joins the carnival as a chicken-biting geek. I don't know what that means. Chicken biting geek. Does that mean he eats chicken heads? Well, guess we'll find out. Um, so yeah, so that's all I want to read about it. So this just seems very, seems very magical. That's my air freshener. Sorry. <laughs> Smells good now though. <laughs> so this seems like a really, really good a book. I want to pick it up like very soon. Probably will take this with me when I go camping just because like the camping atmosphere. I don't know. 
This seems like a good camping book. Maybe. Anyways, so that's that book. Um, next, if you've watched my vlogs, I did a kind of order books with me type of things off of Amazon. I've got these like little cards where I used to write down all these books that I wanted and um, this was like way before Goodreads, before you could keep track of this stuff. I used to keep it track on, on like three by five cards like you'd use for a presentation. So I went through and bought two books off of that list and the two books were this is A Connecticut Fashionista in King Arthur's Court by Mary Ann Mancusi. Um, don't know much about this. I don't know why I wrote it down. It's a, um, what do you call this? Pocket, no, not pocket book. Mass market book. I've ranted about mass market books. I hate mass market books, but um, this, is, this was on my list. I don't know why. I don't know what it's about. It's probably a chiclet book because back in the day I used to be obsessed with reading chiclet books. So this will be an interesting read. And then the next one is also a chiclet book. Thank God it's not a mass market book. It drives me nuts. So this is A Little Change of Face by Lauren Bartez Lopestead. Hope I'm saying that right. Um, again, this is definitely... A chiclet book says on the back, I need to change my life. On the surface, it doesn't look too bad. Great body, check. Pretty face, check. Job, check. But then it says chicken pox, check. That's funny. Um, so yeah, that looks, looks like it could be a fun read. Just a light chiclet book. You never know. I did put this in my TBR jar, so when I do TBR jar sessions, um, this is in there. The last book is also in there, just so you know. I feel like that's what I'm going to do, is if I go through these cards, they're like really old books, so I'm just going to throw them in the TBR jar. If I pick it, I have to, I have to read it. Um, next on here, also a recommendation from Chelsea Palmer, that's The Last Voyage of Poe Blythe. Uh, this is the woman who wrote the Matched Trilogy, which I have, yes, I have all three books, but I have not read any of them, so, you know, maybe I'll read those before I read this. It's by Ellie Condi. Um, again, I don't know too, too much about this. It says there is, um... Something Poe Blythe, the 17-year-old captain of the outpost's last mining ship, wants far more than the gold to tear from the Serpentine River. Revenge. Poe has vowed to annihilate the riv river raiders who robbed her of everything two years ago. But as she navigates the treacher treacherous waters of the Serpentine and realizes there might be a traitor among her crew, she must also reckon with who she has become who she wants to be and the way love can change and shape you even and especially when you think all is lost cute so it seems kind of piratey a little bit you know the cover is beautiful i love this cover actually let's see what this oh it's boring <laughs> it's nothing i was like oh pretty cover maybe there's a pretty inside you know you can think all right, next is a classic for everybody. I have read this book already, but I stopped at book three. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, everybody's going to be shocked when they're like, oh, my God, you only, like, I got, like, halfway through book three, and I was like, mm, I don't know. So I'm going to give it another shot because I do feel like it might deserve another shot. Um, I also really like this Target version of it as I peel the Target sticker off of it. Um, and that, that's Harry Potter. This is the first book. I want it all in this edition. I think it's beautiful in this edition. I like that um, Hagrid, ha Hagrid, Hagrid is in the background like that. I just like this version. I think it's really pretty. So, um, I'm going to collect these versions for the inside. It has all the other, I don't want to bend it, but it has the other books in it. Um, 
But yeah, I'm going to give Harry Potter another shot. It's just not, it wasn't my generation. I'm going to be 34 next month. And uh, I, I just, like, this wasn't my generation, so I didn't grow up with it. So, like, the hype that's surrounding it, I wasn't about. So I want to tr I want to try and read it again. So I'm giving it another shot. Also, I am a Slytherin. I did take the test because my friend is obsessed with Harry Potter. I took the test. I am a Slytherin. Should surprise nobody at all. Okay, two more books. Uh, had to pick this up because I have the whole rest of the series. I love it so much. I've read the first two. I think the first two is what I've read. Also taking off another Target sticker. Um, and that is the Disney Twisted Tale. For, what is this? Wait, why is there another sticker? Oh! Is the jerk that did this? Anyways, as I was saying, this is a Disney twisted tale. I love these. This one is the Evil Queen from Snow White. Uh, the cover is beautiful. And on the top it said, What if the Evil Queen poisoned the prince? Right? So cool. Like, I love these books. I wish they would come out, and I keep saying this. I feel like every time I get these books, or I read these books, I keep saying, they need to make an Alice in Wonderland one. Please do it. I beg of you, make an Alice in Wonderland one. Like, I don't know. What if, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, continuing on. So excited to read this one. If you haven't read any of these books in this series, it's fantastic. You don't have to read them like um, together. Uh, they're kind of their own separate stories. But the one that you really should read that I loved, uh, I took it to Florida right before I went to Disney, was the Aladdin one. And it was like, what? I can't remember what it was, but that one was my favorite one of all. So pick up the Aladdin one if you're interested in these stories. Don't mind Natalie back here. Um, but yeah, Mirror Mirror is the newest one. Super excited about that. And the last book is an adult book. Um, this is a very well-known author. It is... E.L. James, she wrote the Fifty Shades trilogy. This is her newest book, The Mister. I thought I would pick this up because I do like Fifty Shades. Uh, the movies were really good. I like them. I'm kind of scared, like borderline scared, because think about it. Fifty Shades, for her, as a debut novel, right out of the bat, was a fantastic Okay, not, I can't say fantastic, but it was really good for a debut author, right? So it's like, is she going to do just as good in this book? Or, you know, I I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I picked this up just because I'm curious about if this is going to be good. Just as good as Fifty Shades. I will let you know. And then last but not least... I'm actually going to move you guys this way. Yeah. Yeah, you can see them. Okay, because I have them in my bookcase already. I will move Hocus Pocus out of the way. Um, I have these books right here. So this one, 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 and that's one. Um, I also have bought, I'll move you in a little closer than that. Hold on. I'm being stopped. Why am I being stopped? Okay, can you see them? Yes, you can see them. So again, this book, 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 this book. These are all cozy mystery books. Um, it is by Cleo Coyle is her name. She writes uh, cozy mysteries 
This series is like a coffee shop kind of barista series, which if you didn't know, my day job is as a barista. So I know they're mass market books because that's what they are, <laughs> but I was very curious as to what it was. So it says that it gives recipes and ideas, coffee ideas. So I'm like, as a barista, am I going to be cringing? And I mean, like, I don't work at Starbucks. I work at a local coffee shop, like a legit coffee shop. Okay. Um, so the books that I have are On What Grounds, Through the Grinder, Latte Trouble, Murder Most Frothy, Decaffeinated Corpse, French Pressed, Espresso Shot, and Murder by Mocha. So those are the ones that I've got so far. There's like 26 books in this series. It's as big as um, the Joanne Fluke series that I really like, the Hannah Swenson one. That's got like 26 books in it too. I'm a sucker for cozy mysteries. So I was curious about this series. Hopefully I won't be cringing the whole time. Because that will be bad. Woo! All right, I almost lost you guys. So we'll just finish like this. So yeah, that would be bad if these books are just, you know, I'm sure they're cheesy. These books are usually very, very cheesy, but I'm, I'm here for it. Um, so yeah, that is all the books that I have right here. Let me know if you have read any of these yet. Also, let me know if there are any books that I should possibly get. Um, I'm currently reading Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. I will leave my Goodreads down below so that you guys can look at all of that. And yeah, that is everything. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments down below. And until then, I will see you guys really soon in my next video. Mwah! Goodbye! Alright, this is me trying to get a thumbnail. Will probably never happen. Usually, if I just stand here and I do this, it will make a screenshot. No, that's not very good. I like the lights in the way.